today we are going to solve the day 11 of august lead code challenge so today's problem name is h index so if you have not read the problem statement you can pause the video and you can read the problem statement then we can proceed right so if you read the problem statement it's saying that we will be given one integer array and we need to calculate h index for the same right so what is h index so you can they also provide one link of the definition of h index you can check out that also or I am going to explain it in short what is h index okay so let's let's dis, let's try to understand what is h index first and what what is the actual problem we need to solve okay so basically you can see that this is our input array right so we need to find h index so basically you can think this array is the number of paper with a number of citation received for that particular paper right so suppose one scholar has or one researcher has this number of uh, papers and for each paper so suppose this is the zeroth paper or first paper second paper third paper fourth paper and fifth paper right each paper received this number of citation right so we need to find one index so so suppose uh, i found one index 5 right that that in that means so suppose my h index uh, we said that my, our h index is 5 right it can be 5 we are not saying but it can be there is a probability that it can be 5 right so that means that particular re researcher should have five papers which receive more than five citation right so if you check this or if you scan this array quickly you can see that he has he or she has only two papers which has more than five citation right so h index cannot be five right so it cannot be five okay it cannot be five let, let us check for four also right so five is not there so we'll check for four again for four we can see he has only he or she has only two papers right six and five so again four cannot be our answer right h index cannot be four right because he he or she don't have that number of paper which receive get the equal to greater than equal to four citation right so four is also not possible now we will check for three for three we can see okay three i have this paper this paper and this paper so for three we can find there are three papers which receive greater than equal to three citation right that means in this case our h index is three so basically we need to return three for this right so that's the expected output you can see here also right so three is our h index so so let let's this is our problem right so let's try to solve it so how we can solve it so you can see that you can check the check the hints also or i, I am going to discuss it discuss with you the various way to solve it the first way we can do what we can do we can sort this array right we can sort this whole array so it will be it will be in increase in ascending order so smaller number will be in the first and the larger one in the will be in the end right so after sorting the array we can start from the probably end and we can check that is there any any is there any paper bigger than particular index value using that we can sort it we can solve solve this problem right but if you are going to solve it using at first we will do sorting then we are going to iterate through the array again so that will at least take order of n log n time right since sorting itself will take n log n time so time complexity will be n log n time because whatever sort you, you are using so if you are using suppose in java you are, you are using address dot sort inbuilt method right that also take n, n log n time so time complexity will be high but we can surely solve that using using the sorting after sorting we can iterate and find out the h index what what can be the other way so we can probably use some kind of extra spaces to track those uh, value right so using that extra spaces we can solve it probably in order of n time in linear time right it should be lesser it should be less than order n log n right so let, let's let's try to solve it using some extra spaces also right so how we can solve it so probably we are going to solve it uh, like kind of bucket sort, bucket sort kind of thing so what 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 we will do we will create a separate separate bucket for particular uh, uh, citation right so 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 how, let, let's let, let's let's try to understand that and let's after that we are going to code it out so let me think let's think this as our bucket right so it's a bucket and you can see i uh, in this bucket bucket size is so it should be five our actual citation array size plus one so i am my bucket size will be six so it should be five plus one that will make it six so i am going to take a bucket of size six so let me quickly write the index for the same so it should be zero one two three then four then five right so this is our bucket and this is how it will look like right now let's try to solve it how we can solve it so what i will do i will 
run one for loop or I will iterate through this for loop and I am going to pick every citation value right so suppose I will start from 0 right so I will pick this value 3 and I will check uh, and initially it will be 0 right since the, since it's an integer array every value will be 0 only right so everything will be 0 0 0 0 0 okay now I will pick this value 3 and I will check is it so since our uh, please keep in mind one thing that our size is 6 right and this size is 5 so I will check is this value less than equal to my size if yes, we are going to directly update the corresponding index, right? Means we are creating bucket for three citation, right? We are going to count those in that bucket, particular bucket of three, right? So for three, I can see initially it was zero. So I found one for one paper with uh, three citations. So I will make it as mark. I will increase that zero to one, right? Now I will check for zero. For zero citation, I can see it's zero already. So I will again make it one, okay? Now come to 6. So 6 for 6 we can see that it's it's obviously greater than our actual size. So whatever will whatever value will be greater than or equal to our actual size, we are going to put it here, right? In the last position of our bucket, right? Since those are greater, right? So I am going to put it here. So initially it was 0, and I, I found one paper which has greater than or equal to size value, right? Or number of citation. You can say okay. Now let's let, we will check for 1 also, right? So for 1, we can see. For one, uh, for one, we have zero citation, right? So we will mark it as one now. Now let's come to five. For five, for five again, I can see we have already one value. We are going to increase that. To I will make it that two, right? So this is how our bucket looks after iterating through each and every element of our input a citation array, right? So what does does this bucket mean right now? So we can so from using this bucket we can we can know that we have one one paper which citation is zero. We have one paper which citation is, for which our citation is one. For uh, we have one we have zero paper which has two citation, but we have again we have one paper which has three citation right like this, and we have two papers which has more than or get equal to five citation right so we are just we will our agent is can be maximum up to our size right so we are not going to track for six seven eight kind of thing we are going to uh, put those all of the things in our last bucket or size bucket or five bucket right so if, if our value is seven eight and nine something like that instead of one or three we are going to put that or add that in our last bucket only right so we, we will just consider till our size right we also started from our last index value right so we are doing we are following the similar logic here only okay so now what we will do now my bucket is ready right so i am going to start from my last position this is our last position right and i will going to declare one variable probably number of papers papers kind of thing and initially it will be zero and i will start from our last position i can see i found two papers okay so i am going to add it so now my number of papers will be two and it will be look like this right now i will check my total number of paper is greater than or equal to my actual citation or index value so 2 is greater than 5 is it no right so that means 5 cannot be our h index right now we will come, uh, come to the previous array element right in this case it's 0 right for 0 again i can see uh, again 4 is not greater than equal to uh, 2 is not greater than equal to 4 right so it cannot be a possible h index now we will come to now we will come to this location right 3 i will check for 3 for 3 again how it will look like so for 3 we have we already found two papers now we are going to add another one right it's, it will make 3 and our current index is 3 also right currently our pointer is here only right so our pointer you can say our pointer is here right so we can see that 3 greater than equal to 3 so we can return 3 as our h index right so this is the algorithm we are going to use today and we are we are just taking order of you know, order of n or linear time right to solve it so let's write the code corresponding code for the same and after that you will be probably have much better understanding right so what i will do at first i will take one bucket array right so let me take that or we can take one uh, variable for uh, size to maintain the size and all so citations dot length so this will be our size right after that we are going to take one bucket bucket array in which we are going to store the uh, we are going to store the frequency right 
so let let us name it as buckets only in buckets and its size will be new int since we are storing all the greater value uh, greater than or equals to value in the last index so its size will be obviously size plus one right so if, if my actual input array size is five then it, then our bucket array size should be six right so size plus it should be size plus one right now what i will do now we need to run the for loop and we need to create this bucket right so we need to populate this bucket so let's do that so how we can do this so we can directly take one for loop so our for loop is i equals to zero and i should be less than actual size and again i plus plus right now what i need to check i need to check this value right so we there can be scenario that though some number can be greater than equal to size right we need to put those in our last bucket right in our last bucket right so let's do that so let's write the logic for the same so what i will do so i will write like this so uh, it should be buckets and i am i am going to take the current uh, citation index value citation i right citation i plus plus so whatever is the value i am going to increment that particular value right so suppose i found 3 i am going to increment the value for that particular bucket index right so 0 will become 1 so this is how we are doing it but it will fail for in this scenario right so if i do the same it will throw me array out of bound exception because we don't have any index 6 in our bucket so we need to handle this scenario right so what we can do we can directly write math we can take the minimum value right so i can take math dot min so what will be minimum value so either i will take this index minimum of this index or our size right so if it is whenever it is it will be greater than or equal to size then we are going to just put it in our last index right so to cover those condition we i, I am just taking the mean of both citation i and size right so whatever is it is now after this we are done with this bucket right so let's let's try to iterate through the bucket and let's try to find the total number of papers or h index actual h index right so let us take uh, one more variable called total papers something like this and initially it will be zero now what i will do i will start iterating from a and only right so my maximum h index can be five so so we will start from end only so it should be int i should be equals to size in this case a size is 5 right and I, I should be greater than equals to 0 and we are going to decrement the i value after each iteration right so now what i will check i will check i will uh, increment or i will increase the value of total papers right it should be total papers plus current uh, number of papers uh, for that particular index right so buckets that should be i right so initially i will find two now i will need to check if if my total papers so if my total papers is greater than equals to i right and if it is if it's satisfying this condition then i is our h index right and if it if you are not able to find the h index inside this for loop that means we will not we will not be able to find our h index and we can return zero right so i think that's pretty much for the uh, for this code let's run it and check whether it's accepted or not yeah i think it's accepted and it's giving us the expected answer let's submit it and check uh, check the time complexity and space complexity i think its solution is also accepted and it's waiting the 100 percent of other java submission right so let's 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 do some time complexity analysis and some kind of code work through so from the code perspective i think it's very crisp and clear it's very it's very easy to understand what we are doing here and again if you check that we are for the time complexity is order of n right since we are not doing any kind of sorting and all the time complexity is order of n right since we are running two for loop and we are running it till order of n size right so time complexity is order of n and again we are we are using some extra spaces so we are using extra bucket to track those frequency and all so again the space complexity will be also order of n right i think that's pretty much for this video if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and thanks thanks for watching bye bye